Hi everyone and welcome again on my channel. Today I'd like to show you how to do lacking effects in Photoshop. Uh, actually, this tutorial is on request one of my viewers and I thought it's a really great idea so it's really worth to do this kind of tutorial. Uh, I've done similar tutorial before. Uh, it was lightning manipulation uh, where I use a lightning effects but today I'd like to show you only uh, how to do this kind of lightning effects on your image, how to add uh, different kind of uh, lightning effects, lightning elements. But today I'd like to focus only on lightning effects and uh, I'd like to show you how to do this kind of uh, lights uh, here, how to focus uh, lights in one place like this, how to use fancy brushes and fancy lightning textures. So I hope you're gonna enjoy this tutorial. As you see, that's how my image looked before editing and that's how it looks after. It's really quick uh, tutorial and it's really easy effect. So I'm sure you're gonna enjoy this tutorial. So I at first I have to delete all uh, these layers. And let's start. At first I have to duplicate my basic layer and I'm going to call this leak lightning effect lightning effect and on this layer I have to use lightning effects so we have to click filter render and lightning effects As you see, uh, actually I've done something that's how I would like to my light looks like. You can add of course a bit more intensity, you, you can manipulate your hotspot, as you see hotspot is that uh, ring. You can do this bigger or smaller, whatever you want. I think minus five is proper size for this image. Of course, colorize, it depends how strong you would like to uh, your uh, color. I think exposure at 10 is uh, good for my image, but it doesn't mean it has to be good for your image. Of course, you could change color if you want gloss it's like it doesn't really matter I think gloss might be about minus 40 I don't want to gloss too strong because it might be a bit destructive I think I'm not sure so it would be done so just remember to create that ring whatever you want whatever is good for your image it doesn't mean that size of ring and that properties would be good for your image so let's click OK and that's how it looks right now it's a small difference but it looks much better for me I, I guess uh, so next step would be I think brushes we could create new layer and I'm gonna call this light brushes and I download some kind of brushes from uh, from DeviantArt, of course, link is in the description. So basically you could use those brushes uh, in your project as well. Uh, I'm really not sure right now which one would be best for my image, but then just add some some different and I think maybe it's enough yeah it's enough I don't want to anything more but of course about those brushes it's not necessary I think because um, it looks average to be honest uh, of course I think it would be better to change opacity 
uh, about 60% because I don't want this uh, too strong and next step would be some uh, texture I download some texture from DeviantArt as well so click open of course if you would like to find those um, these uh, textures link is in the description I think uh, these textures might be too small so I, I'd like to change my image size just a bit and use move tool to move those layers into your main project and change blend mode into screen see it looks very nice like this and another again it might be too small but let's try screen maybe here so basically I think it's done with uh, textures mm. of course it has to be whatever you want whatever you prefer so at the end when we finish with textures when you, uh, we add textures we have to change opacity just a bit I think because it's still too strong 60% uh, would be really good so now we have to do some color effects I'm gonna call those layers and uh, these layers one and two and put that into the group uh, maybe with brushes as well put that into the group and gonna uh, so command G and I'm gonna call this group lights all right so now it's a good time uh, to some uh, color effect. I think at first it would be good to use gradient map. Mm, at I use that uh, gradient map, this gradient map. Make that blue color a bit darker than a red color. Uh, I'm going to change to the yellow color, maybe yellowish color, orange color, something like this. And about yellow color, I'm going to change this into the almost white color. And I do something like this. Okay, let's uh, see how does it look like we could change blend mode into soft light. It looks really nice, of course, change opacity maybe to 50% or even less, maybe to 40%. If lights are too strong, you could change uh, group opacity just a bit if you want. And at the end, maybe curves to add some contrast as well as other color effects. And of course, if it's uh, still too strong, change opacity. And that's how it looks like. Uh, for me, uh, uh, it's done. If you like this effect, please click like button and leave a comment what you think about that. I think it's really easy and really useful effect. Um, I hope that uh, that viewer that would like me uh, to do this kind of effect is happy now I, I think it was really great idea so if you have more ideas let me know guys uh, what should I, what should i do in the next photoshop tutorial so thank you guys for watching and see you soon in probably next photoshop tutorial